Today I'm going to demonstrate how Aqua protects workloads running on AWS Fargate. Fargate is an AWS service that allows you to run containers without the need to manage underlying infrastructure or VM instances. What we see here is the Fargate cluster that is running four containers. One is a Tomcat application and three are Aqua components, uh, our console and Aqua gateways, two of them. Uh, the gateways are a component that allows us to scale out to handle a large number of containers. So once we have that running, within the Aqua console, we go to the Enforcers screen, and we can see that we have a Fargate cluster, which we connected to the service. So now we know that we're in business. Now let's take a look at our Tomcat image. So we scan the image. Uh, and we see that it doesn't seem to have anything severe. Let's look at this uh, latest version. Uh, it is allowed to run. And we have one low severity vulnerability and 18 negligible ones. So we're all good on that front. You'll also notice that I have this shield icon next to this image. This means that Aqua has automatically created a runtime profile for this image. And uh, this is something that we do to basically whitelist what the image is allowed to do based on observed behavior. So uh, things like executables, file access, network access, volume mounts, uh, system calls, etc. Let's take a look at that profile. What we can see is that we automatically denied outbound network connections. This is because this is a Tomcat. It's a, it's a web server. It's not supposed to have outbound network connections by default. It accepts inbound connections. Uh, we can also see that we observed that it uses this executable. And so we whitelisted that one. And this also implies that anything else is not whitelisted. So uh, there are other resources uh, and executables available within this image that the container will not be allowed to uh, to access. And we also are preventing executables that are not in the original image to be added here. So we're basically enforcing the immutability of this container. Now, we can see that this is in audit-only mode right now, which means that we're not going to block any activity that violates the policy, but it is going to generate alerts and, and events. For the sake of our demo, let's assume that an attacker has somehow managed to reverse shell into the Tomcat container, and is now performing reconnaissance to see what he can see inside. So, you know, running an ls command, ps command will uh, show uh, the processes running, including our very own micro enforcer. So that was in audit mode. Let's see what happens when we move things to enforce and save. Now going back, let's try and run PS again. Nope, can't see a thing. Let's run LS again. Can't see a thing. So let's take a look at how these events were recorded. This is something you can do in the Aqua console, but this time I wanted to show you how we do it with AWS CloudWatch. So if we go to the integration screen, among our many integrations, there's also CloudWatch, which in this case is activated. Let's go to our console and uh, we can see that we have a bunch of events. So let's open this most recent event here. And we can see that the reason was there was an unauthorized action blocked by image profile under the Tomcat Fargate rule and that the resource that the attacker tried to access and we blocked was the uh, bin PS executable. So there you have it. Uh, I showed you a taste of what Aqua can do to protect workloads on Fargate. To learn more, visit us at www.aquasec.com.